Hi folks, Chaplain Scott Savell here with another prophecy update. Go ahead and like, subscribe, and share the video. And let me also remind you to visit my website, www.fightforjoy.net. And there you'll find my latest blog entry, The Rise of Antichrist, A Possible Scenario. I believe that the article was published on April the 15th. So just look for the date or just look for the most recent article and you should see it there. All right. By way of prophecy, a prophecy update, uh, just a few things I want to bring to your attention today. And today I'll be uh, quoting from news articles and also a couple of blog posts. So just take the blog posts with a grain of salt, but I did find them interesting. So I want to be sure and bring them to your attention. So thinking about deception, deception in the last days, uh, this article appeared on I-24 News. EU climate chief, we are really moving into uncharted territory. And this is, of course, an article about so-called global warming. And I just wanted to bring it to your attention for a couple of reasons. Number one, to show you how global leaders are continuing to use this idea of global warming, uh, ultimately so that they might be able to exercise more control over the globe. But according to this article, Europe is warming at nearly twice the global rate. So what do we say about this and other articles like it? Well, I'm reminded of Genesis chapter 8, verse 22. This is right after the flood when Noah and his family are leaving the ark and God makes a promise to Noah. He makes a covenant with him and with us for that matter in chapter 8 of Genesis, verse 22. While the earth remains, seed time and harvest and cold and heat, and summer and winter and day and night shall not cease. So this is the bottom line. God has promised that this earth, along with its four seasons, would continue all the way up until the end, that is, until the end of the age. And there's nothing that man can do to speed this process up or slow this process down. God will continue to maintain and keep his covenant with Noah and with us until the end of the age. So do not be misled by these articles on global warming and the like. Another article I wanted to bring to your attention, which I would also uh, classify under deception, and this appeared on Fox News recently, footage of UFOs over conflict zones seen for the first time. This is devastating. UFOs and conflict zones create a potential for unintended crossfire because combatants don't know whose assets they are, investigative journalist Jeremy Cor Corbell told Fox News Digital. So the article says the Pentagon released a video of a UFO flying over an active conflict zone in the Middle East in 2022 and its mere existence creates, quote, the probability of unintended crossfire, unquote, according to an expert. The short clip of a metallic looking orb flying at a fast pace was shown during Wednesday's hearing before the Senate Armed Services Subcommittee on Emerging Threats and Capabilities. So as we near the end of the age, uh, obviously deception will be on the increase. And remember, Jesus warned us four different times in Matthew 24 to see to it that no one deceives us. And so I believe uh, that UFOs, UAEs, uh, things like this are nothing more than uh, a form of deception in the last days. And I'm talking about the ones that can't be explained away as something else. Uh, those UFOs are unidentified aerial phenomena that uh, we just can't explain. I believe it's just Satan setting the stage uh, for the last day's deception. Uh, another article that I want to bring to your attention, and I would put this one under the alignment of nations, and that is the Saudi foreign minister visits Syria for the first time since 
the Civil War. And of course, this is speaking of the Civil War in Syria. And so Saudi Arabia's foreign minister, Faisal bin Faran al Saud, what a name, arrived in Syria on Tuesday to meet with President Bashir al-Assad. The trip is the first diplomatic visit by a representative of the Saudi kingdom to Syria since the outbreak of the civil war in 2011. So uh, just something to think about uh, when it comes to the alignment of nations for the last days, and it remains to be seen uh, how the final alignment of nations will come about. Uh, there'll certainly be a lot of twists and turns in the process, but this article just shows us that uh, things are continuing to move in that part of the world so far as the alignment of nations uh, is concerned. And then a final few set of articles I want to bring to your attention deal with uh, Jerusalem. Here's one article that appeared on I-24 News on December the 27th of 2022, but this article says Jerusalem Salon pool to be fully ex excavated and open to the public. So they are excavating the ancient pool of Siloam there in Jerusalem, and ultimately their goal is for it to be open to the public. Now, this led me across a couple of blog articles that I wanted to bring to your attention, uh, not because I necessarily agree with every word in the blog article, but the title itself, uh, certainly causes us to pause and take note, especially in light of some of the excavations taking place there in Jerusalem. So here's a blog article called from Focus on the End Times, published in January of this year, the stunning connection to reopening the Pool of Siloam in the coming Third Temple. And so the article talks about uh, how the discovery or the excavation rather of the Pool of Siloam may be connected to uh, the future rebuilding of the temple, which the article indicates uh, could certainly be close because of uh, uh, what we see going on in Israel today. And, and thinking back to last year when we saw the arrival of five red heifers from Texas to Israel and how that might be uh, pointing to the near uh, rebuilding of the temple and then another uh, blog article from Seoul asked the pool of Siloam opens after 2700 years could the third temple be built in 2023 so that was a, certainly an interesting thing for me to read and think about to think about the possibility of the third temple being built sometime this year personally I don't think it's going to happen in 2023 but the speed at which things are moving now, I certainly would not be surprised if we saw more movements in that direction. So just a few articles that I wanted to bring to your attention today uh, by way of a prophecy update and to remind you that given the directions that things can go, it always amazes me that they are moving in the direction that the Bible said that they would move for the last day. So a lot of news articles out there. Those are just a few. Uh, you can visit various news sites on the internet from Fox News to CNN to Israel News. Read them with a discerning eye. Think about what the Bible predicts for the last days and think about all the directions things could go. But you'll see through your uh, discerning look at the news articles and light of what the Bible teaches that things are moving in the direction that the Bible predicted for the last days. All right, that's all I have for today. May God bless you and your family and keep looking up. God bless. Mm -hmm.